everybody, it's Mina here. So about last Tuesday, I think last Tuesday, be, yeah, I attended a business workshop hosted by New York City's Business Solutions. Um, the workshop was called 10 Steps to Starting a Business. Now, the New York City Business Solutions is an organization here in New York where they help people who want to start a business or we have one, maintain it, and help them grow it. And they give you resources and have classes and workshops to help you learn stuff to improve your business or even start a business as well. So I went to a workshop with 10 Steps to Starting a Business because I wanted to learn more and refresh my already know and be people. It was really good. I enjoyed it. So today in this video, I'm going to give you a little overview of what was taught about what was said in the video. And they give you a little a pamphlet. So I'm going to go through a pamphlet. And my version make things simpler because it was a big pamphlet, kind of a bit complex. So, it makes so I suggest you take some notes. So get a piece of, piece of paper and pencil. I'll wait for you. Love these things. Okay, the first topic they talked about during the workshop was entrepreneurship. And we talk about what is entrepreneurship and what does it entail and are people ready to be entrepreneur. Now now what now what no matter what business you were in or field you in, we are all entrepreneurs, we're all striving to be better and change the world in some kind of way. But it also takes a lot of work to be entrepreneurship and figure out what is entrepreneur. Now, entrepreneur what was defined in a workshop is a risk taker. So it brings people who are entrepreneurs do stuff. No one else would do in life to be successful in stuff. We take risks that no one would do, risks that like our own, their own personal life, social life, but we do it to make to be successful and help change the world. And it's worth it at the end. And then we'll kind of have some common sense because we do a lot of work. We do there's a lot of work done as entrepreneurs and we do it all the time and busy. And you think so if you want to be an entrepreneur, you gotta think about are you ready to do it? Are you ready to work that hard? Like number before, get something you want out of life. And when you do that, you must be ready to start a business, which involves that hard work. So all together, it's a whole lot of hard work. It's just not regular nine to five job. This is an everyday, seven day week, 20 plus hours, whatever hours a day you want to call it. But entrepreneurship is a lot of work. So you think about it. Are you ready to do it or ready not? But if not, don't do it. But make sure you're ready to work. Your butt off. Now the next step is involving developing your idea. So if you figured out that you want to be an entrepreneur and you're able to handle all the work that comes with it and you're ready to start a business, now you can start on developing your idea. Your idea is what your business is going to be all about. What is your business? What are you going to do? What are you going to put into the world? Now most business ideas try to hobbies like someone's like, you know, I like to ride a, ride a bike so I'm going to start a bike service company. Most of them start with hobbies. That's good, but usually it does not last long because hobbies always change. And once you put in business idea, it really can't always change because that business idea kind of sets business is beginning. So you change it, it's going to be a problem. It's better to have an idea, a business, a business idea that's a passion, something you feel passionate about, and you know that will not change, something that you will always have a long run your business the rest of your life. Passions are much better to have as business ideas than hobbies because hobbies change. So also your business idea should be profitable. You want you want you making money. This part of the business you want to make money. So your business idea should have to be passion and be able to make money at the same time. So then yeah, then you want to you know that it work but you love it and you'll make some money. So passion and profit are very good business ideas to have. Now after you have your fabulous and wonderful passionate profitable idea, you need to figure out what your niche is. Now, what is the niche? And the word sounds funny, it really does. You know, when I first heard the word niche, I thought it was like French or something, because it's not weird, but niche is, sound, it sounds weird. But what is a niche? It's something that only you can do. Nobody else does. It, it makes you special and makes you different from everybody else who's in business. No one else can do what you do. Some people may kind of do it somewhat the same way, but there's a specific way that you only do it and no one else do it. And that's your niche. And that's when you speed known for your business. Be known for what your niche is. And know what your niche is to find it. You gotta figure out what you are good at, what you're not good at, what you're really good at, what you're really, really good at, is what that's your niche. 
And usually, niches set set you apart from competition. People say, oh, they can do that, but I can do that. But you're known for that one thing, and that's your niche. So find your niche. Uh, it makes sense that we, this is a business video. We can talk about business plans. It has nothing to talk about workshop. Business plans are really important. Every business, no matter what kind of business you are, you should have a business plan. What's business plan? Business plan is a large, written out, sometimes more than three, four, five pages of what your business is and what you're able to do in the future. It also helps you break down your business step by step so you know what your business is. So someone else can read it and tell what business is your business plan. Also, it's good to have a business plan because it helps you help break down your business. Help people, help people take you seriously. If you're a business and you want to be taken seriously, you want to be established and everything, you need to have a business plan. If you don't have a business plan or you're not established, no one can business, business take, take you seriously. So having a business plan is very important. This plan takes a long time to write and lots and lots of drafts and over and over again. This is, writing business plan is not a one day, you can do it two hours kind of thing. No one, that's impossible. It takes a long time to write a business plan because that's very detailed. Very thought out, well written, six times, but it's worth it at the end. You should all have a business plan. In your business plan, there's been a section called your structure. Where's your structure? You know, some companies are, some businesses are companies, some businesses are corporations, some are LLCs, some are sole proprietors, all things like that. And that's your structure. So what your structure is, because you know, your structure that affects different things like your taxes and permits and licenses. That affects different your, your, what your structure is because each structure is different. The easiest structure to have is sole proprietorship because it's only you and nobody else. It's simple and you can do it and you can start, you can be proprietor of anybody can be one. It's very simple. The other ones take a little more detail so you can look into, research into, and have a little more requirements to take with them. But know your structure in your business so people know who you are. The next step is a huge one and I'm very good at this. I'm like a master at it. It's organization. Being organized, it will make your life a hundred million times easier. I'm extremely organized. So knowing what papers are read, organizing client files, business papers, things like that, have a system where you will already know where everything is at. So we need something you don't go searching for and finding it and going crazy. Have a system. I'm a master at systems and organizations. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sticking myself from props, but it's true. But as I was saying before, being organized, especially in business, is extremely important because it will keep the day-to-day -day operation of your business much easier so you, because you know where things are at, know where things go, know where to do a section they're in, things like that. So being organized will help your business much better and easier for you because you don't have to think about cleaning up all the time. You can just focus on your business and growing it. So be organized. Like I said before, when you figure out what your legal structure is, and it is, if it's that they're all different, they're all different meetings, different requirements, that includes what permits you need, a license, things like that. So speaking of permits and license, each business has permits and license that needs to be, but also insurance. Let's talk about permits first. Permits as in first. If you have like a store or something, an actual building to a business thing, you need Permit for building, a license for building, things like that. Also, the insurance. You build all the insurance, like accidents, something happens to you, like, you know, you fire, or you have, like, a water day or something, you need insurance to cover that kind of stuff, or you get sued or something, I don't know, something like that. But having those kind of, those kind of safety nets, it's good for your business, like protection business from, from things you brought up happening. So, they're much complicated. The business workshop didn't go too much into them, but Look into biz permits and license and insurance for your particular legal structure that you are, because they're all different when it comes to what's, what's, what's legal structure you are. Because if you're a bit, if you're a corporation or your company different, or you're a sole proprietor different than your company. So look into businesses and permits and insurance to see your business needs to like, own your business can be great because you're your boss, you have your employees, you know what you want to do, you're in charge. It's great, but if no one knows which business it is or that you even exist, what's the point of having business? People need to know that you exist so you can get services, so you can get clients. I mean, people can hire you, you have money. So you need to let people know who you are. And that's where internet and social media plays a big role. Being a bar social media, having a website or a blog, or some kind of online presence, 
but help you since grow up keep it out there. That's what you in today's world. Everything is online. We are all social media fanatics in the world today. So if you are not on some kind of social media platform or some kind of online platform, you need to get on one. Get a website, make a Facebook page, Instagram or Twitter, whatever you need to do, whatever all you can be all of them, that's even better. But have some online presence when people know where they are. They can find you online like, oh, that's a cool website, they have a cool business. They can contact you so you have a business. So yeah, people can hire these people can so you can make the money into your company and grow your company. So online presence is extremely important. Well, thank you for watching. I really hope you for this video. I hope it helped you a lot if you're starting a business or in one. I hope the information will affect your business in a positive way. And I know the information in this video is for, for traditional businesses, but as creative people, we should know our businesses and be involved in them and be active in the business side of our business, or what we do. Because I know as artists, we focus on the creative side, we always want to paint and draw and feel about what's important stuff like your business and your money. That's one part. So knowing that side as well as the creative side is to be important because the business side is what kind of runs your career as well. You, we can make paintings all day long and create art forever and ever and ever. But if we don't know how to sell it or get it out there on the business side, we just have stuff sitting around. So know the business side of your creative business. That's extremely important. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.